The Big Toe is a member state organization, and uh, 194 countries last week reconfirmed at the World Health Assembly the importance of maternal, newborn, and child health. Now, the Canadian leadership is commendable. In 2010, uh, the Muskoka Initiative set the way and paved the way for you know, many more initiatives that come to rally behind the Muskoka Initiative. And now, this time again in 2014, Prime Minister Harper once again is setting an example, leading by example, and that's exactly the point he made. And he hoped that he could uh, also bring other leaders from other countries uh, to join this very noble cause, I mean, the cause of women and children. Well, I, I think, you know, this summit is amazing. Uh, we came together to celebrate the achievement, uh, you know, in the uh, maternal health. Uh, worldwide, the health of women have improved, and uh, the number of maternal mortality uh, has dropped from close to half a million to about 280,000. That is still 280,000 too many. So it is important that we need to continue uh, to make further progress. Now on child health, I mean, this achievement is stunning. And now we are down to about 6 million deaths worldwide. But let's not forget, I mean, uh, some years ago, it was 12 million. So we need to continue to build on the success while celebrating the good achievement, the results uh, that we are seeing, the return on investment, we need to reconfirm recapture the energy that we saw in 2010 after the Muskoka Initiative. So Prime Minister Harper's announcement yesterday of $3.5 billion for 2015 to 2020, he is actually advancing further commitment from this government uh, to support this very important cause. My first eight years, I work in maternal and child health services, and that is one of the most rewarding um, part of my career. So it is great that I have an uh, opportunity now that I'm working in the World Health Organization to continue uh, to champion the cause uh, of women and children. And they, children are the future of uh, societies. Women are important change agents. If you educate women and empower women and make sure that they are healthy, healthy woman, you have healthy family. And healthy family is good for any society.